Race one is six furlongs, exactor, triactor, super fact away during allowance race, now winners of three lifetime. And number one is Big Sky Treasure, Jug Handle Ranch Thoroughbred Zone, Ron Scott Trains, Double Stevenson is your rider. And number two is John's Quest, Juana Pango on board, Travis Robson, Dale Johnson on, Gail McConaughey Trains. Number three, Blanford Stewart Rise, Teague 11, Peyton Peugeot owns, Nelly Peugeot your trainer. And number four is Navajo Dan, Laris Ellen Rise, Justin Bourne owns, Elijah Bourne your trainer. Number five is Hailed Out, Rod Marks owns, Les Marks trains, are all Bennett the jockey. Number six, Trevor Simpson on Venturi, Lloyd Wiesta Case owns and trains. Number seven, Silent Truth, written by Nicholas Patrick. Poitras Racing Stable Zone, Russell Gardapi Trains, rounding things out, number eight, Hot Summer Nights. Sheldon Chicken is your rider. Bill West is a Lee and Jill West Trains. There is your field of eight, and they're going to post in five minutes. Five minutes to post. And we're at the post, and they're off on the inside. Big Sky Treasure out from there. You've got John's Quest. Center of the track now is the really speed. Navajo Dan gunning along on the far outside. Silent Truth heads up and wants to try to get to that rail further out yet. Yeah, it's hot summer nights. As they come in front of the grandstand for the first time with the lead that is a Silent Truth. In second place, Navajo Dan on the outside. Hot summer nights. Fourth on the inside, John's Quest. Out from there, you've got Venturi. Then inside of that, it is uh, Teague 11. Back from there, it's uh, Big Sky Treasure, and trailing is hailed out. Around the turn they go with the lead. It is uh, Silent Truth rolling along nicely. Battles for second right now. Navajo Dan's there. John's Quest to mount her rally. And back from that, you've got Hot Summer Nights coming up the inside now. It's Teague 11 try to make a rally as well. End of the final turn, they come with the lead. Silent Truth cruising along nicely. Outside of that, it's Navajo Dan. On the inside, it's John's Quest. Around the final turn, they come. And down the stretch, and Silent Truth is uh, heading for home. Second place battle on. It is uh, John's Quest on the inside of that. You've got Teague 11. As they come to the wire, it is going to be Silent Truth. First, second, Teague 11, third, John's Quest. And we'll say congratulations to the winning connections in race one, number seven, Silent Truth, written by Nicholas Patrick, Poitras Racing Stable Zone, Russell Gardapi, your trainer. 7326 is now official. Here are your prices. Number seven, Silent Truth, $5 to win, 380 plays 240 show, and second, number three, Teague 11. 360 plays 250 show number two John's Quest 350 show one dollar super factor 9260 dollar exactor 2120 two dollar try 79 dollars and 80 cents
There's three year olds and up. Full field of eight. And leading things off, number one is Talk of the Devil. Dia Benitez on board. Doug and Cheryl Allen own. Jill West, your trainer. Number two is Just Nuts. Bill King Jones and trains. Nicholas Patrick on board. And number three is Mucho Merit. Tracy Turner owns and trains. Andrew Wright in the Irons. Number four, Blanford Stewart rides. Golden Honey to Cat. Bill Tucker owns. Les Webb, your trainer. Number five, pass the gin girl. Jill and Bill West own. Jill West train. Sheldon Chicken is up. Number six, Vincent Palmer rides Cupid's Wings. Mike Hoffman owns and trains. And number seven is Easy Anchor. Juana Pango on board. Tom Dixon owns. Bob Gwillem trains. And number eight, Dodge and Bullets. Carol Brown owns. John Brown trains. Juan Gonzalez in the saddle. And there's your field of eight going to post in five minutes. Five minutes to post. Four Golden Honey to Cat and number eight Dodge and Bullets. And now they're loaded and at the post, just not somewhat fractious in the gate. And they're off. On the inside, Talk of the Devil. Just Nuts gets shuffled back out from there. Mucho Merits up there. Then it is a Golden Hanita Cat. Center of the track now gunning up. It is Cupid's Wings. Cupid's Wings jumps out as they get the early lead. But right up alongside now, Easy Anchors there on the far outside. Dodge and Bullets. There's your front three. Three links back from there to Talk of the Devil. Outside of that, Mucho Merit. On the inside from there, you've got Just Nuts. Back from that Golden Hanita Cat. And trailing is... Past the Gin Girl, around the turn they go, up front with the lead. Cupid's Wings and Vincent Palmer continue to roll along in second place. Easy Anchor and Wanapango, third on the inside, just nuts. Back from there, you've got Dodge and Bullets, and coming as well as Mucho Merit, along with Golden Hanita Cat. Further back is Talk of the Devil, along with Past the Gin Girl. Past the Gin Girl now starts to kick in a rally. Up front, Cupid's Wings and Palmer continue to roll along nicely on the outside. Easy anchor up the inside now. Just Nuts making a big move. Around the final turn they come and down the stretch and Cupid's Wings is heading for home. But on the inside, Just Nuts is trying to gain some ground. Just Nuts closing with every step as they come to the wire. It is Cupid's Wings picks it up 6-2, 5-7. And we'll say congratulations to the winning connections in race two, number six, Cupid's Wings. Vincent Palmer, gate to wire victory. Mike Hoffman owns and trains.
Here are your prices. Number six, Cupid's Wing, 630 win, 620 plays, 320 show. And second, number two, Just Nuts, 670 plays, 310 show. And number five, Pass the Gin Girl, 280 show. $2 is actor, $36.90. $2 try, $125.70.
And here are the horses for race number three. Exactor, Triactor, Superfacta, wagering five and a half furlongs and distance in this mixed allowance. Leading things off, number one is this Dwarfs for you, Neville Stevenson rides. Jug Handle Ranch Thoroughbred's own and Ron Scott, your trainer. Number two, Poker Table, written by Blanford Stewart, Jim DePew owns and trains. Number three, General Day, written by Laris Allen, Lyle Magnus, and your owner, trainer. Number four is Silent Auction, Nicholas Patrick, the jockey. Ray Ann Mahobanos, Russell Gardapi, your trainer. Number five, Leo is looking, written by Trevor Simpson. Alan and Colt Brown, Nikolai and Blaine from Roddy's own, Alan Brown trains. And number six, Gallant Gay, written by Juana Pango, Pete and Ernie Dubois own, Pete Dubois, your trainer. There is your field of six, so they're going to post in six minutes, six minutes to post. This is loading, just waiting at number three, General Day, and we're good to go. They are at the post. And they're off on the inside. This dwarfs for you along the side of that poker table, center of the track. General Day on the outside of that solid auction. Outside yet, Leo's looking and trailing in the early going is Gallant Gabe as the horses come in front of the grandstand for the first time. We've got a tightly packed front four on the inside. Poker table on the outside, solid auction. In third it is General Day. Outside from there, Leo is looking and back from that, this Dwarfs for you along with Gallant Gabe. Around the final turn they go, around the turn they go rather, and Poker Table has the lead and by three lengths right now. Poker Table up front with the lead. In second place it is General Day trying to close the ground up. Back from there you've got Solid Auction. Further back, this towards for you now gaining some ground. Also a bit of a run now. Gallant Gabe starts to kick it in and trailing is Leo's looking. Around the final turn they go and Poker Table's looking strong right now. General Day chasing from second. Around the turn they come in down the stretch and Poker Table's heading for home. General Day is trying to close up some ground but it's going to be too little too late. Poker Table is going to pick up the victory too. Three, six, your top three. And we'll say congratulations to the winning Connections in Race 3, number 2, Poker Table. Written to victory by Blanford Stewart, Jim DePew, your owner-trainer. Poker Table pays 7.30 wins, 7.40 plays, $4 a show. 
Second number three, General Day, 550 place, 220 show. Number six, Gallant Gabe, 340 to show. Two dollars after 860. Two dollar try, 4540. One dollar super factor, 4165. Here are the horses for race four. Number one is Lucky Royal Rabbit, Ricardo Marino on board, Jonathan Berry Stay Their Own, Jonathan Stay Their Trains. Number two, Smiling for the Wind, ridden by Blanford Stewart, says Juan Speed Horses Own, Carl Perry, your trainer. Number three is Emma Darling, Sheldon Chicken is Rise, Leo Pretty Young Man is your owner, Calvin Crow Chief Trains. Number four, Neville Stevenson is now riding CRI's at Dinah, Ron Olson owns Carl Perry Trains. Number five, Pete's Fate, Bill Kinch owns and trains, Trevor Simpson the Jockey. Number six, Munkin, written by D.I. Benitez. Westman Oil Field Services' own Bucky Stockwell, your trainer. And number seven, rounding things out, Public Policy, written by Nicholas Patrick. Ray Ann Mahoban is your owner. Russell Gardapi trains. There is your field of seven, traveling a distance of three furlongs. Race four also kicks off the start of the pick three, Super Factor, Triactor, and Exact Wagering.
Starting at number seven, public policy, and we're good to go. And public policy is in, and we are at the post. And uh, they're off on the outside, public policy up well, but even faster. Monk and Guns up on the inside, Lucky Royal Rabbit. Also coming up now, Pete's Fate tucked back in there. It's C.R. Izadina. Up front now on the outside, Monk and rolling along nicely on the inside. Lucky Royal Rabbit, these two are battling things out here. Pete's Fate is in third now, coming up fourth on the inside. C.R. Izadina out from there. Public policy around the final turn. They come in down the stretch. Lucky Royal Rabbit is battling it out with Monk and these two battle. Lucky Royal Rabbit and Monk and out the wire. It is close. Oh, on the outside. Looks like Monk may have just hung on to win. And we'll say congratulations to the winning connections in race four, number six, Munkin, ridden to victory by D.I. Benitez, Westwood Oil Field Services own Bucky Stockwell Trains. And we'll say congratulations to Mr. Benitez. That's his first win at Rocky Mountain Turf Club. Congratulations, young man. And here are your prices. Munkin pays 720 win, 430 place, three dollars show. And second number one, Lucky Royal Rabbit, three dollars to place, two thirty show. And number five, Pete's Fate, five forty to show. One dollar super factor, one hundred two dollars and thirty five cents on a one dollar super factor. Two dollar exactor, twenty seven fifty. Two dollar triactor, seventy eight dollars and forty cents.
Claim Tag 2000 non-winners of the year. And leading things off, number one is, this is the moment, Laris Allen rides, Calvin's Tranquist, Don Litvak owned, Calvin's Tranquist trains. Number two, 88, George Brudon's Rusty Smith trains, Juan Gonzalo's up. Number three, Nicholas Patrick rides, Muddy Bear. Triple six stable zone, Russell Gardipi trains. And number four, he's big time, Dwight Lewis, the jock, Jack Bolin owns and trains. Number five, Candy Trader, ridden by Sheldon Chickenis, Leo Pretty Young Man owns, Calvin Crow Chief, your trainer. Number six is Sid the Kid, written by Oral Bennett. Chris Mike owns Les Mendes Trains. Number seven, We Taught Ed, written by Andrew Wright. RLC Racing owns Bob Gwillem is your trainer. And number eight is Lefty, D.I. Benitez in the Irons. Larry and Ruth Snyder own Larry Snyder Trains. There's your field of eight, traveling seven furlongs in seven minutes. Seven minutes to post. And waiting on number 288 now. And we're loaded and at the post. Actually, it's the four he's big time was hiding back there. He's coming in now, and I think we're pretty much set here. The gate on number three has sprung open. We'll get that repaired right away. Slight delay here. He's big time is backed out. We'll try to get him reloaded. Off on the outside it is, we taught at it along with uh, Lefty, but now gunning up. Mighty Bear and Nicholas Patrick are taking no prisoners in the early going here. On the inside rail, this is the moment, right alongside 88. Out from there, he's big time. Back from that now, it's Lefty. Several lengths back from there to Candy Trader along with we taught Ed. In the first turn they come with the lead up front, Mighty Bear and Nicholas Patrick gunned out to get that lead and they're still there, but right there as well, this is the moment. Also coming up now, 88, looking strong. Lefty on the outside, inside from there, he's big time. And back from there, you've got Candy Trader along with Sid the Kid and trailing the field. We thought it had less than a half mile to run now. Up front, Mighty Bear continues to cruise along with the lead in second place. It is, this is the moment. These two have been battling Pretty much as the gate open, 88 still up there as well. Now coming is he's big time. Back from there, you've got Lefty. Now moving up the inside, Candy Trader along with Sid the Kid. And trailing is We Taught Ed. Into the final turn they come. And Mighty Bear still has the lead, but it is precarious. On the outside, this is the moment. And Laris Allen have him lined up. We'll see what happens here. He's big time on the rail. Third trying to pose a rally. And on the inside now coming is Candy Trader around the final turn and down the stretch. It's a battle on the inside. Mighty Bear on the outside. This is the moment trying to fight back. Mighty Bear, and this is the moment at the wire. It is close. Oh, my, that's close. Fuller on the top end. Too close to call. Okay, sounds, sounds good. I'll be in touch. All right, you'll leave anything with me or that's it? Well, I'll be in touch. 
Well, this is my paddock party people. Oh, yeah, that's the program though, right? Yeah, but the big bees are not.
I promise tomorrow, so that'll be a great day as well. So big day tomorrow here at Rocky Mountain Turf Club, post time 1.15 p.m. And the horses are on the track for the sixth and final race of the night. Full field of eight horses, six or five furlongs, super factor, triactor, exactor wagering. Next claiming race, $3,200 tag. One scratch, scratch number seven, time to be a hero. Also one rider change, number one, Makaha Heat is now ridden by Nicholas Patrick, Cranky Acre Stable Zone, Roger Lopez, the trainer. Number two, Can't Catch Camille, Oral Bennett has that riding assignment, John Holler, which owns Nelly Pijo Trains. Number three is Lucky After All, written by Blanford Stewart, Ron and Regine Olson own Carl Perry, your trainer. Number four is Evening Light, written by Neville Stevenson, Vernon DeRocher, and Bev Mendez own Les Mendez, your trainer. Number five is Kuipo, Lloyd Wiesekase owns and trains, Trevor Simpson, the jock. And number six, Lady Swings the Blues, written by Juana Pengo, Les Webb owns and trains. Number eight, Gray Cross Gracie, Martin Ortiz in the Irons, Doug Howe, Judd Wilms' own, Tom Kenway trains. There is your abbreviated field of seven for race six. Post time approximately five minutes. Five minutes to post. And the horses are loading. Winning at number six, Lady Swings the Blues, and number eight, Great Cross Gracie. Just Great Ross Gracie now. Gracie stepping in nicely, and we are at the post. And they're off. On the inside is Mahaka Heat, right alongside Can't Catch Camille, now gunning up on the outside. Great cross, Gracie guns up and takes a two-length lead with a half mile to run after that four abreast. On the inside, Mahaka Heat, uh, up from there it's Can't Catch Camille. Then you've got uh, Lucky After All, far outside, Lady Swings the Blues. Back from there, Evening Light and Trailing is Kuipo. In the straightaway, flying now, Gray Ross. Gracie is just taking no prisoners. Back in second place, it is Makaha Heat. Back from there, you've got Lucky After All. Then on the inside, it's Can't Catch Camille. On the outside, Lady Swings the Blues. Up front now, can Gray Ross Gracie hang on? Challenges coming from Akaha Heat. Around the final turn they come. And down the stretch and Gray Ross Gracie is going to try to hang on. But Makaha Heat is closing with every stride. At the wire it is going to be Gray Ross Gracie. Gate to wire. 8-1-5-3, your top four. And we'll say congratulations to the winning connections in race six. Number eight, Gray Ross Gracie, ridden gate to wire by Martin Ortiz. Doug Howe and Judd Wilms' own Tom Kenway, your trainer.
And here are your prices. Number eight, Gray Ross Gracie, 850 win, 240 place, 240 show. And second, number one, Makaha Heat, 420 place, $3 show. And number five, Kawaipo, 270 show. $140.90 on a $1 super factor. Pick three, $82.70. $2 exactor, $27.80. $2 try, $94.80. Once again, tomorrow is B-Cup Stakes Day. Big day out here at Rocky Mountain Turf Club. Post time 1.15. We'll see you then.